Women miss you, man, when you're not around. They crave your companionship. So when you come back and you see her, she values the time you spend with her more. If you're always in her face, you cancel plans with your friends, you cancel plans with your family. Baby, I just want to be with you. Sounds romantic, I know. But it ain't. This ain't a Disney movie, bro. This is real life. Then you'll get hit with the I need space talk. Because you're right in her fucking face every day, man. And she has every right to say that. Give me space. Get out of here, man. I don't want to see your fucking... Even you breathing will piss her off. Eventually. So, live your own separate life, man. And then when you have date night, she'll appreciate it. You know what? He's put some effort in. He's taking me somewhere nice. I enjoy being with him. I'm going to miss him when he goes on his business trip. Interesting. Interesting. Do you believe... If that uh, you know men have to regulate their time with uh, with the woman and have their own separate life to keep value. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think uh, I think time away, right, does uh, does help in the relationship, right? So when you're going to work, she goes to work, right? You work separately, um, and then you come together and you you know you find appreciation. Um, in, in doing that, right? Um, I think for me, like, um, you know, whenever me and my wife, we, we go on like a little mini vacation, like a three-day getaway, it makes me um, miss my kids more, right? Because, like, with my work schedule, I'm with my kids a lot. And, man, dude, that's just so much fucking time with my kids. <laughs> it's like, man, I'm starting to hate these kids, man. You know, so yeah, that's yeah. why I value my time away, you know, working and, and applying myself is, you know, because I, I mean, I, I apply myself too with with being around the kids, you know, being a father. But like, um, you know, it, it, it allows me to be human, right, with other adults, you know. So that's what that's the value of, of being away from the people you love, because then you realize why you're working so hard for, you know, you realize uh, how much, you know, the people you love uh, mean to you by by taking time away so i think there is value in that um and i think it's it's, it's really you know more um like where where are you at in the stage of of your relationship too i think in the beginning you know you you're probably going to want to spend a lot of time together and eventually you do get sick of each other and then so so it depends on right the maturity of your uh relationship uh i think for me and my wife like like we spend a lot of time in the house together, right? Mo mostly just nurturing the kids. So, so, like even with that, right? We we uh we try to find as much time to get away from the kids together, right? And then that's when we, you know, um, like he said, we appreciate those dates and nights because like even though we're in the same room, we're mentally just not kind of like in each other's presence. We're just busy with cooking and cleaning and nurturing the kids and taking them outside taking them to school and then me doing this and then you know stuff like that so there there's definitely value in, in time away from each other what what um what could you what tips can you give a person that is really in love with their girlfriend or spouse whatever they may be but is Disrespected or not missed in a in their relationship. Well, well, what tips can you give them? What's the question? The question is, uh, if they're sick of each other, what can what tips can I give them? Yeah, yeah. If oh. if they're sick of each other, like, what do you what what are your tips? Therapy. <laughs> therapy, dude. <laughs> you know, if you guys are sick of each other. Before therapy, before therapy, what, what can you do? Uh, love language, man. The five love language, dude. That book, get it, man. Um, because it could be, it could be that, right? You, you guys aren't communicating, right? I mean, that's a real big piece, man. Is that understanding that communication piece? Um, so, so get that down first, right? Understand how to communicate with each other and then talk about, uh, your goals, right? You know, how you guys envision your future together, right? Um, and then what compromises can you make, you know, um, while achieving these goals, right? Whether it be a financial goal career goal school goal or you know you're trying to get a house together or something like that uh let's say they have different goals what do you what can you do 
different goals, but they have both have goals with different goals. Um, so if they're dating, so this is them dating or married? Let's say a year and a half in, two years in. Dating? Almost, oh yeah, dating, almost okay. basically committed, but then not really committed, committed. Uh, I would say make it work, make it happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're, if you're, um, your aspirations kind of lead you apart. I, I'm, I'm, I think, you know, honestly, I think you can, like, with, especially with today's age, right? The internet, uh, and just the accessibility of just, you know, all the shit that we have. I think you can make it work, whether, you know, you're, you're, let's say you want to be a, uh, a social media expert or whatever, and, and then this other person want to be a, um, a CEO of a company or some shit like that. I don't know. Uh, uh, make it work. It, it's just communicate, discuss your goals and figure that shit out, man. Uh, and then, and then, and then therapy. <laughs> if, if you two just can't do it, right. you know. <laughs> Fair enough. It's yeah, it's a lot to it, man. I think it's more complicated than than it is. Um, it's it's a lot to it.